tonight we party, my friends. Sip on mezcal, I like tequila, damn this shit tasty. Can you not? I made about a million off a pink beanie. I feel like my life is a movie, damn it's too easy. Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders, hit the embassy, it's bag or die. Turn the shit up. I fuck Ooh. with it. Yeah. I'm vibing. We vibey. We vibey. Uh, uh, Big vibey. Uh. I like the yeah. PlayStation shorts. This doped up, and we going up. I be. Oh, nah, I'm done. This is doped up comedy, guys. Welcome to this podcast. I am your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me, that is a uh, come around Kev right there. That's Kevin Sanchez. Yeah, I'll come around to you eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate you in the moment. I love you eventually. Later, later I'll be like, hi, later, that was kind of funny. You know what's funny about Kevin? Mm-hmm. You know, like people will be like, yo, Ke- <laughs> yo, I don't know if Kevin likes me or, or uh, Kevin's mean or something like that. Who? And sometimes it'll be me, people, bro. Like, but I'm just like, day. if I tell Kevin, he's gonna be like, he's gonna ask me who. Good. <laughs> that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna be like, good. Some that people, voice you hear, that is uh that's not come around DC, that's come on DC. Come on, DC. <laughs> come no no not 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 in that weird way. Just more like Don't come on DC though. Don't, that's not, that's that's not that's the don't, message. That's don't come on DC yeah, that's Not an entendre. But if you do entendre. but if you do, you win these prizes. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Guys, it's been a oh, great week yeah. for Dope Dub. Currently, you know, we have a video on TikTok at 4.5 million. So guys, thank you so much for uh, watching. Is that David Slash? That's David Slash. Fuck! No. <laughs> I know, he, he, he beat you. He beat you. <laughs> but also, if you're watching this podcast on Sunday, that means that I am in Austin. We're recording this early in the week. That's why we're at the crib. We're hanging out. We got Ian filming behind-the-scenes content. We got David over here producing, so we have topics and stories. But also, if you're watching this... Are the vlogs coming out on Sunday? The vlog is out. Oh, You're the watching this on Sunday. The vlog's out. It it, it went. Back. It came out on Wednesday. Go click on our profile. Kevin, come around Sanchez. Open in the a new tab. Let's go. Watch that. Respect. When you're done with that, come watch here so you're on track with us. So we're going to... We're putting shit out. out. We put no, we're putting out. a lot of stuff out. So we have guys... Very funny, too. I saw the vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, they're amazing. Ian, you're doing a great job. So everyone, shout out Ian. Yo, shout out to Ian. Honestly, bro, whole vlog, n- not one crazy moment. No. Like, um, for real, we came a long way. Yo, like, I did. Yeah. I did. yeah. Vlogging just on camera. Like, but that's what I said to him. I was like, I was like, if you go watch the vlog, there's a moment towards the end where we have, like, Natalie in there. And that's what I said to him. The first thing I said was, bro, the end of the vlog, it's, it's not us joking around anymore. It's, like, real stress. And you can see where he edits it, where it's the pacing is good. Mm-hmm. It's the fucking pacing. Mm-hmm. So the vlogs have been, the vlogs is great. We just watched it today. We all sat down and watched it. I mean, David, I mean, you saw it too. How do you feel? Great. No, that was a great ass fucking shit. But bro. You're not on camera, so I don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, by the way, never cringe on camera for some reason. Kevin was killed. Which is weird. Kevin Kevin was Kevin killed. He yeah, was like, yeah. He was I never great. seen a man murder in a vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, bro, it's called validity. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin validity. I am Mr. Valley. <laughs> but no, it was uh guys, seriously go watch the vlogs. Also go to the Patreon. We're gonna have um bonus content on there. Also, uh Ian's making a really considerate effort of um we're also gonna be. We also have like bonus clips for the Patreon. Mm-hmm. So we have minute things that couldn't make the vlog. They were mm-hmm. too juicy. Maybe we were talking shit about something we should have been talking about. Maybe we exposed that one of us is gay. Who knows? Who knows, bro? But which keep it, one keep of it us in the Patreon it, though? Which one of us does, of it do you think it is? But we don't know. But you can know if you go to the Patreon. Is it is it Jamaican DC Williams? Is it Twink Dylan Negri? <laughs> Was it Big Poppy Kevin Sanchez? No, Lufa Sanchez. It's Lufa a 50 50 chance it's me or Kevin, 0% chance it's you. I would have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to agree. But um, that's only no, because seriously. I love gay people and I would never want to make fun of them. So, mm-hmm. um, but uh, guys, go subscribe to Doped Up Comedy. Go subscribe to Doped Up Sketches on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all the yeah, things. Yeah, here's the thing we're trying to do this full time. Yeah, I mean, we are. We're not trying. Right? We, are. we are doing it full time. But it's coming to a head. It's coming to a head because we need to start making some money. Because it's getting <laughs> scary out here. Kevin, scary out. So that, that means that means in two weeks Kevin might miss the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that means. Thank you. Call- just, that just means me and DC will be stressing. Like, yeah. remember when we had it all in DC and Kevin stopped showing up? Kevin's like, yo, I realize I, I don't got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> My girl is rich. <laughs> <laughs> I date a white girl, guys. I don't know why I'm here with you. Um, you got a date outside the culture. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but um, we got topics, and I want to talk about this. Um, DC, you were. There's a new segment now of you having conspiracy theories on the podcast, and I don't really think they're conspiracy theories. Yeah. They genuinely intrigue me. 
That's why I don't. Like, I, 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 I don't. I don't. I do it for the clips. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. I do it for the views. Gotta do it. For but the I also genuinely enjoy them. And you brought one to my attention. You were going off, and I was like, save it for the fucking podcast. Well, I don't even remember what he was. You tell me that about. that China owns a Jamaica. Lot of, yeah, a lot of it, DC, yeah. you were telling me that China owns Jamaica. Yeah. 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 What? How? So just like like the um like the Western countries did to like the Caribbean and also to China. They went around like in, in a sense like you're pretty much indebting them like you're you're gonna create you're gonna build roads create highways spend six hundred million dollars in Jamaica, and then after like a couple of years they're supposed to get their autonomy back or whatever. Um, and I hope, I hope I'm saying this correctly. They never got it back. No, no, no. But this just recently happened, so they will likely six hundred million dollars. So we're reading right here: Beijing Highway, yeah. six hundred million road, just the start, start of China's of, investments in the, in the Caribbean. Yeah. So scroll down, David. They're gonna even the money that they're paying on those roads that might have tolls and all that stuff. All that is gonna is when we go into China, and then they're gonna spend years and years and years. Trying they were to pay gonna back name the million. road after Usain Bolt, and he denied it. He's yeah, bro. Because like, you know, I would love to see a Jamaican first getting charged a toll for the first right. time. Like, what the fuck are you talking? I gotta give you what? Wait, wait. Can you, hey. can you do a Jamaican mother finding out she has to pay toll? I'll be the toll booth worker. I'll be the asshole. Oh my god, uh, we gotta, br- yo, bro, uh, hey, yo, yeah. Dylan. Your I character get- is a purple-haired girl oh. from New York City. Oh, gotcha. And by from New York City, I mean she's from Cleveland. <sighs> okay. You're the toll booth worker at this Jamaican rest stop. <laughs> Go ahead, Jamaica. You gotta pull up in the car. Uh, uh, hey, excuse- sorry, I didn't see you there. Twenty dollar. Yes, to, uh, you have to get, to get through. A twenty dollar for go home. Mm-hmm. What you mean? So if not have twenty dollars, me have to steer right here upon the highway. Me will steer right here, no? Yes, sir. You're gonna have to turn what, around. Twenty dollar. Yes, you're gonna have to turn around. I suck your mother. You know why you? <laughs> hey, you can't talk to me like that. Pull out your dick. Do do do. You, you want to suck my? Me not pay this. Enough. Not you. Oh. <laughs> easy pass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, it's called, about easy pass. It's called easy pass, as in you pay me twenty dollars and you get to go home tonight. You're me stuck, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of that. Uh, he so said, fun. "You know me stuck." <laughs> yeah, that'd be fucked because he wouldn't move until you like <laughs> give up. Who gives up first, the Jamaican or the? Or no, the oh, dude, my mom will make no, anybody no, no. feel like their what prices are, are outrageous, about? bro. The next morning to be Tolbert worker. 17,000 shots through their body. Yo, Dylan, that's <laughs> interesting you said that. Though. That's true. That's 100% true. Yeah. And honestly, I get it, right? Um, It's interesting you say, like, yo, you got to pay $20 to go home. Yeah. Yo, that's you kind can't. of a wild. Yeah, yeah, or you can't. Yeah. Or you can't go you home. You literally cannot. $20, like, you can't go home. So you got to go through, and then we're going to bill you later or something because you're not getting away what from else is ba- What else is China? But, you said China? China? Notes, David? Yeah, but, but really quick, I just wanted to say Dude, they're going to be in de- So pretty much, like, the U.S., like the same way they own these Caribbean islands, the same way um, uh, the British went to China and got and said, "Yo, Shanghai mm-hmm. is ours for a hundred years," and then after that, you guys get it back. That's mm-hmm. pretty much what China is doing to other countries now. I think they're doing it to Africa too. So they're renting well, countries and shit. They're like they're, they're, like they're paying mortgages on a country. Yeah, so the Chinese dollar Wait. would be more valuable than Whoa. like the when American, completed you know early next year, the toll highway paid by paid for by Beijing mm-hmm. will cut drivers' times from Kings. From Kingston mm-hmm. to Tourist res- <laughs> Resort, the um, Ocho Rios, Ocho Rios on the north coast, in nearly two hours to, to mm-hmm. fifty minutes. So we need the highways. The same way you got George Washington Bridge, it connects. You could get around Jamaica faster. Scroll down. It just comes at a price. Wait, you guys were going around the island, not Bro, you, through the middle. Do you know how much dirt roads were there? Like I was, I got, I went to Jamaica a couple years ago, and I was like, I didn't know they had this my, many highways. My, you weren't thinking, boom, The uh-huh. guy in the car was like, we didn't have this many highways before. Like it's just really? recent, yeah, because they they had to they didn't have the money to build. But it why up. is China doing it? Because China has the money, and China's trying to get a grip on the world, bro. They want you to be in debt. Right? They, 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 want to be to, they want you to be in debt. Yeah, they're yes. they 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 luxury hotels. Yeah. In return for the um, that displaces you know like you know a lot wait, of uh, in, in return for the investments, the Jamaican government has handed over twelve hundred acres of land around the road to China, mm-hmm. who plan to build three luxury resorts with 20 200 20, and 2400 rooms. 20, yeah, 2400 a lot rooms. of Arabs own hotels over there too. There's a lot of Arab Jamaican people too. Jamaica has become the hub of Chinese presence in the Caribbean and is now the home co- to the regional office of the state-owned China Harbor Engineering Company. The country's prime minister, Porta Simpson, has mm-hmm. rejected warnings from trade uni- um He's white, by the way. Unilis- With what? a Jamaican accent, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who? I believe Portia Simpson, 
I, the, I believe she, the I believe prime she minister is. of Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Can you I look up Portia really, Simpson, prime yeah. minister of Jamaica? Is this true? If it's not her, the one before it, the guy was white though, for sure. He sound like one of them UK rappers. <laughs> Yo, David, why are you panicking? It's fine. Just Relax. take your time, breathe, bro. Breathe. You got this, bro. You got this. Well, you believe in you, Kyle. Yeah, you, got, you got this. Yo, David. He <laughs> <laughs> got it wrong. Yo, she oh, black I, as I, hell. Capped, I capped. I capped. I capped. I capped. Well, no, no. That far left. I capped. I capped. That looks like just suntan lotion. <laughs> uh, she's definitely mixed because the Caribbean yo, is mad mixed up. Yo. But we've had white prime ministers. Bro, speaking yeah. of, uh, uh, of um, to the people not having the same skin color, we're, we have talked about... What? We're <laughs> guys, this is our longest running story. Five weeks in a row. We're gonna talk about this. He looked like Obama. Wait, he does look that's funny. <laughs> David, can you look up the um, the TikTok NPC chick again? The, she was at the um Streamy Awards. Yeah, she yeah. Do? And people were What's like, yo, do? you you dark as hell. Oh, oh yeah. Are you light skinned on TikTok? She looks like she used coloring cream, like she bleaches her skin or something. Probably. No, I think she's using a filter and and really good lighting, li- and lighting, makeup. lighting and makeup. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, DC, you're the only black person here. Yeah, you know, it's you crazy. feel weird about when you, like you see other black people making themselves lighter skin. It's colorism, bro. It's colors. Yeah. It's in Indian culture. It's in Jamaican culture. It's Look, yeah. yo, bro, yeah. she looked like Shakari. Oh, wow. She looked like Shakari. It's way darker yeah, on the yeah. left, bro. You know what's crazy, bro? She made people feel racist. Like, mean, like no, I mean, she, she got to an event. Oh, she got to an event. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she got to an event, and then she goes, she goes. I'm what's her name? Uh, I'm Pinky, Pinky Doll. Doll. They're like, no, you're not. <laughs> they're like, Pinky Doll looks Pinky nothing Doll's like way you. whiter. She's Probably yeah. way more, more light skin. Yeah. And they're like, I no, think- I'm Pinky Doll. <laughs> and then she <laughs> had to, she had to do it. She goes, she had to do her yes, fucking yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. gang, gang. And like, oh, I shit, can so bitch. good. <laughs> it's not upsetting. It's just every culture has to some degree succumb to some sort of white. Yeah, I guess white people have like so guys, people that want to be black. Yeah, well, even people that want to be black, but like think about okay, it's like don't don't like uh, Yo, lighter kind Israelis of maybe is treat oh, darker no, Israelis maybe crazy, a little different. Right? How does she make herself? Sorry, I. What you say? Like, like is like colorism Middle East, like lighter Arabs like treat lighter in Arab countries they treat lighter Arabs better than dark Arabs. Sure. 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 Maybe in Israel they Dominican treat darker too. Israelis. No, no, no. no. If you look at the Israeli Prime Minister, he's one of the lighter ones. Bro, he's Dominicans the, yeah. do, do they fuck that, yeah. They've got they have colorism in Latin oh, culture too. Yeah, bro, it's always crazy. that. They tell what is it? Uh da, not Dame la Rasa, but like it's like bettering the race. They'll tell you either go with the Dominican or go lighter or something Whoa. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. The color is everywhere, but yeah. she probably realized she was getting more views and going more viral, looking like that. People do. I do. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. I love a light skin girl. Yeah. I mean, she's both. She's kind of like she's. They're just like that, that. But she's like. They wow. just have that like, caramel. She was beautiful on both. I mean, she was beautiful, she was beautiful yeah. on both. Yeah, she got but nice it's, teeth. I will say she this: has really she nice has teeth, very nice bro. teeth. Yeah. She also has nice features. Yeah. Yeah. Like her proportions. I clap them both. Yeah, bro. Honestly, Yo, let's be real. Wait, 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 wait. I, I be That's real. a threesome I'm wait, trying to pull. A threesome? Oh, my God. A threesome with two of the same really? chicks but different color skins? That's like a, a dude was like, Yo, we should break up because he wants to see other people and then she just shows up like that. <laughs> you know? And you're just like, Oh, no, nah, I'm not going nowhere. Yo, like, <laughs> before she, like, she talked and he was like, He just was like, Yo, you talk too much. And like, honestly, I want a light skinned girl. She showed back up to his door. She's like, Yes, yes. Ice cream's so good. <laughs> but imagine, so imagine good. your girlfriend doing that. Room all day, bro, and you're just ice like, cream oh, so good. Oh my god, just yeah, I would be shit. pretty upset. Wouldn't that be annoying? Well, <laughs> yeah, but she's making five bands that day. I just be like, do it when I'm not home, then I would, you know? I would walk. it's either that or she's rubbing her pussy on camera. So I guess you got to settle for well, this. I'll take a walk, bro. Take a yeah, I'll take a quick walk. Yeah, I feel you. Nah, bro, that's not a quick walk. <laughs> she's doing it for three and a half hours. Then, bro, I'll see a but movie. You might not want to even look at her. Or she's yeah, done. You have to go see Oppenheimer, and, uh-huh. yeah, I'll go and, see then, and then take a, and then still take a long way home walk, and then Lord of the Rings. <laughs> just so you can get over the shame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to reset your vibes. That's We've ran this bit into the ground. How crazy is this? She's th- this TikTok NPC. You said you saw someone in the streets. Oh, bro, that shit Ooh. was hilarious. Ooh. Kevin, you saw it in person. Bro, there was this dude. There was this dude out there dressed like a boy band. And at first, I didn't know what was going on. But he was just standing. Around. People were all around him looking at him do this. He had a mic in his hand and like the fucking camera set up just like that. And he's like, and I get to see you do that on stage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's the third one. 
<laughs> bro, and I'm just staring at it. I'm okay. What was the second one? He had another bro, one? Bro, bro, or oh, really? Oh, like, he had some shit right here. <laughs> all like, singing? All, but he was singing. And uh, at first, Asian white dude, black dude, white, Hispanic dude. Bro. You know what's crazy? You never know, see Hispanic dudes doing the TikTok NPC trend. Nah, I bet someone's doing it. I bet, I bet, you, I bet someone's doing it. I bet, you I bet someone's like, arriba, arriba, no. or something like that. Arriba, arriba. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know, but bro. Like, I was just watching that, it. bro, and I was just like, this is coming to an end. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, whole yeah. society is coming to an feels, end. Feels, turn feels on, like do y'all want to turn on TikTok after old. this podcast? And turn off? Turn on the tit- turn on TikTok live stream after this podcast, yeah. and then just sit here and go, I stream so good, and then just <laughs> do our versions, and just sit here, the three of us. Sure. Yeah. How 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 many hours until we get uh hours ten dollars? <laughs> oh, at least six, bro. Somebody's going to th- <laughs> take your shirt off. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, we got a couple followers on there. Yeah, we might. We might. We should go live. We should. We should go Follow live after me. this. Would y'all do it? Yeah. Hell yeah, I'll do it. I'll fucking do it right now. <laughs> I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now. That's great. All right, what other topics do we have? Um. Well, I didn't ask you to tell it to me. I asked you to show it to me. A surprise? You want to surprise <laughs> oh, us? Yeah. Was he getting it? top, though? I don't believe so. I don't think he was getting... His, his ass crack is just out too much, which is crazy. Which is, yeah, he, which is yo, crazy. Connie's getting old. Yeah, yeah you old. can see it. You can see it. He's you can getting see old. It. Let's see. Damn, Connie, what's going with the ass? Oh, he might no, be getting another top. Guy there. Wait, there was somebody right... There was a whole yeah, yeah. boat right yeah, behind yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. No, they're on the same Rich boat. Rich people do shit like that, though. Scroll scroll down more. Let me see, the, let's, let's, let's see him getting topped off. She really looks like Kim. She really does look like Kim and Pete Davidson together. <laughs> Yo, this this guy's Wild. a menace, bro. Yeah, you're crazy, bro. Does she not? No, I'm talking about Kanye. Oh yeah, keeps going down. Yo, what is Kanye wearing? Oh, he's oh is there no barefoot? You don't know, have the picture barefoot. of him getting the top. He's trying to see uh, who gonna give me a hundred million dollars to put shoes on. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? That's some real shit. Right you know what he's doing? I ain't gonna wear no I shoes. No How about shoes, that? Man, they take away my shoes. I take away y'all shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because when I put my when I put your shit on, hundred million off the shelves. <laughs> Now all the Kanye fans gonna show up at his concert with no, no shoes, shoes on. No shoes. I would love he started. This, this is the picture. Like Damn. it doesn't really. The only reason I'm saying is because she's standing. He's sitting up. Bro, he looks kind of. She like, doesn't have a I, I'm sucking dick face right now. Bro. Yeah, she doesn't have yeah, I'm sucking dick face. Yeah, she doesn't face. have that. Kanye's because just because she's a professional, hard. y'all. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. She can she can do anything with this a uh, uh, a bitch face on. But she, yeah, that's true. Ooh. It'd be really annoying. Would Sucking it, a dick with a bitch face is nice. It'd be really Sucking annoying. Sucking a dick with a bitch face. Uh-huh. Sucking, Sucking a, a dick, dick with, with, a with a bitch face. face. Uh-huh. She's like a dick with a bitch face. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's like a dick with a bitch face, huh? Why is bitch, why you smiling? <laughs> 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 I can't make you smile. Yo, one of the most fire things I heard was Kanye was that she's so cool she give hair with her shades on, and I've never stopped thinking about a chick giving me hair with shades yo, on. That's kind of Wait, did you ever buy the Kanye shades that had, like, the lines? I had them at one point. I don't think I bought them, but I had them. Everyone had them. I had it, I was in Atlanta too when it came out, so everyone came to school with it, and then Soldier Boy made it more popular. Yeah, I was wearing I was wearing those in the mall. I used to I used to um um be a, a camp I, I used to be a, don't cut me off man I used to be a camp counselor and I used to take them from what? kids. Yeah. Wait what? <laughs> you used to yeah. be a camp and then put them on. Hey, yeah. Wait what? Somebody to, trusted you? Yo, I couldn't believe it. Either, bro. I could when not you believe you it. Either. Camp counselor. Camp just find counselor out. It's more interesting, bro. <laughs> every year, I Kevin swear to stories, God, bro. bro. Fourteen or fifteen years old, bro. I was a camp counselor. That's funny. What, bro? bro? Is that your water? I drank from that too. I remember. I remember. You know what's crazy? What I I remember is I could I misgendered a few kids. I used to misgender kids all really? the time, bro. On purpose or No, just like, I just couldn't tell. Like there was this kid, adorable kid, couldn't tell if he was a, a girl or a boy. And at one time I was like, this one you could talk like that. I was like, what's up, baby girl? He goes, I'm a boy. And I was like, huh? I used, to get mis- <laughs> I used to get misgendered no. a lot as a kid because I had long hair and I was chubby. I remember one time I was out to like TGI Fridays with my mom and my sister. And oh, I, I don't want to say this. She just comes to the table. She goes, ladies night. What are we having, girls? Oh, so you just have to sit and there? Bro, and, bro, not only is that bad, but you know what's worse is when your mom and your older sister both look at you like, tell her. Oh, they, they force you to say, I'm a male? Yeah, and then I, and then. Was, How'd like, you do it? Did you go, I'm a male. Did you do it like and that? And it's funny, you put on the voice. I put on a voice and went, I'm a boy. I'm a boy. <laughs> Deepened it up. Oh I, my I God. basically gave myself trans voice. Oh, yeah. okay. She I was, sounded like I had identity issues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, 
Mm, that's interesting. <laughs> so like, did shit. anybody ever touch you like you were a girl? Hey. <laughs> are you talking about? Are you asking our man to admit to my own station right now? I'm just trying to see. <laughs> that's what I got to. Guys, have I been moloed? <laughs> I like moloed. Moloed. Yo, good. This guy was mo. Was he molo? Yo, 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 you don't molo on me. Yo, there's no molo in this. Brain. They're called chomos. They call them chomos. Chomos. Child molesters. Yeah. Chomos. Oh, really? oh, that is crazy. Chomos. I didn't know that's what that meant. Yeah, I chomos. used to call mad people chomos. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a Mexican slang word. Chomos or promos? Oh, what are they I use? Thought it was, I thought Mexican said that shit or something. I didn't know that. It was. I thought I had chomos. no idea. Chomos. Was like, I just call people chomos all the time. I'm really? like, chomos? Jesus, yeah, bro. I thought it was like, yo, you're a, the third, menace, a nigga. thirteen year old Kevin, <laughs> same size but smaller of a person, yeah. just walking around going, "Sup, pedos? Yo, <laughs> you yo, a pedo? Yo. You a pedo? I had no you idea that's what I was saying. Damn, bro. So funny. Yes, you folks did reinstate their sponsorship. Oh, hi. Just supporting my baby here. Sorry. Uh, guys, go support Zia Farms because they support Dope Dub. If you don't know this already, I have a real sanctioned fight in Las Vegas. And Zia Farms is the sponsor of that fight as well. They do topicals, ointments, stuff to make your body feel all good. So guys, go to zefhemp.com. One more time. That's zefhemp.com. And go support Zia Farms. Go follow them on the Instagrams. Go follow them in person. It doesn't matter. Guys, Keep hanging out with us and keep enjoying. Let's get back in the pockets because this little baby won't stop nobody. Man. Oh, man. So Kanye, listen, Kanye is supposed to get head on a boat. Uh, he is, though. He is. In he Italy. Is, he's supposed to get head on a boat. What do you guys care if he's getting head on yeah. a boat by his wife? Yeah. I just... think it's weird that he did it docking. No, no, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> he I was trying to dock his shit in her mouth. Yeah. Bro. I thought you were, I thought you were about to say, which I agree with also. I thought you were going to be like, he was so he was getting head from his wife's wife. What I find weird is y'all not getting head from your wife yeah. on a boat. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fucking losers. Fucking poor losers. You should be suspected of getting head from your wife. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's not crazy. Now yeah. you know what's funny? It is when you're when you're a kid. I don't Who's think that lady with the hijab, bro? Just That's what I want to know. Wearing. Not gonna lie, bro. It was uh, it was on David had it on just her shoulders, and I was like, "Yeah, who is that old lady?" Then he scrolled down. He's like, "Who is that threesome?" Like, what's she was? Uh, she got I cuter. Know. Yo, she really oh, looks like it down. and Pete in one. Yeah, she does, man. It's crazy. So would you guys fuck Pete Davidson? Bro, uh, of no. course not, bro. No. I, if he had a fat. I, if he <laughs> had a fat. What are you he saying? I right couldn't now? even commit to that one. He bro. just him going, ah, ah, <laughs> so like, DC cannot commit to any gay jokes. <laughs> Some of them I get. He can't, he can't commit to a, a gay joke, a oh. woman. <laughs> Damn. I would do it on stage. I feel like gay jokes, are, I'll go for it on stage, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only time he shouldn't Anything do it. And he'll do it in an all black room where he yeah. knows he yeah, can't get away with wild it. Shit. Hey, this nigga gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so last week on Thursday, we had the show. Oh, yeah. We had a doped up comedy show Making where we time. hosted. Good time. Good time. And I gave up my spot to the great Mark Norman. Mm-hmm. Kevin gave up his spot for the great Josh Pallet. Mm-hmm. Check out his Trump video coming out soon. Very soon. On and um, it should be already. By the, by the time this is out, you should be out. You should go go support those up sketches. And DC okay. had um, Princess come in, mm-hmm. villain. How do y'all think the show went? I sure. think the show went great because I'm not going to get on camera and say negative things about the show. Damn, bro. I'm not. <laughs> no, I thought the show went, w- went well, bro. I think the show was good. No, no. So, you it's guys so should come to the next one. It's so funny. Is, um, Fuck, who no, no. Who's the... The show was amazing, by the way. We had yeah. Mark Norman open. Yeah. We had um, Napoleon Emile was there. He we closed. had um, Princess. We had who are the other comics? Uh, Marcelo. Uh, Marcelo. Yeah. Oh yeah, Marcelo from SNL. Shout out to from SNL. Yeah, came on. Up, yeah. um, no, but what was funny is we give up our spots. Man and on the no matter, shit. No matter who how does the man much, on the street shit. Aaron Berg. How do we forget? Yeah, we had some yeah. class. That show was not trash, bro. Was, I never Mark said it Norman, was. Mark Norman, Berg, Marcelo. Good Come shit, on, I never said it was. Shit. What I was going to say was. Shout out to us. Is we gave up our spots, and the first thing we said to each other, like, yo, how's everyone feeling? Everyone was like, it was a good show. It was a good show. I ain't never given up my spot, though. Again. <laughs> I've, never, I've never done that. Bro, bro, I felt so unfulfilling. Yeah. I was, like, I was just there. I was like. Oh, I'm just a producer? Even yeah. If yeah I'm just I, a producer. Even if I bomb. Yeah. Motherfucker, I worked to bomb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody give me a clipboard. I retired from comedy. I'm a booker now. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in the back. Yeah. Thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because they're taking photos. I'm like, I'm not even on stage. This is stupid. Oh, I'm not yeah. even on stage. Some girl's like, how come you didn't go up? 
Well, I don't know actually. Don't, actually, you know what, lady? I don't. Someone asked know me. Right they're like, now. "So you just hosted?" I go, "Not normally." Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we have bad ideas. You feel gaslit. <laughs> yeah. You know what it I is? I don't know actually. Uh, listen, it was all right. It was all right. Yeah, it was, it was fine. It was, a, it, was, it was a cool show, man. It was, it was a cool fine. show. Um, next time your boys will be performing though, and um, Absolutely. we're gonna have another fire lineup. I won't be there. Yeah, yeah. Keep coming. They keep coming out. Uh, Dylan's gonna be in Austin. Um, no. He's actually gonna live stream in no, his set. Next, I'll be in Austin this week. The 28th is oh. the next show. Um, we're the last Thursday of every month. The 28th is the next show of September, and uh, I'll be at Skankfest. Is Gursky? You guys gotta come to the next show because it's my birthday. That is very true. That is very true. It's cool. Um, so guys, uh, let's do some plugs. Let's go around the room. Um, Kevin, tell me where to find you. Uh, Kevin Sanchez Valid on Instagram. Um, please follow all the sketches. Uh, doped Wasn't up sketches, doped up podcasts. Our, our fucking TikTok is fire. What's up? Kevin Sanchez Valid. Oh, Wait, okay. Can you change it again? It's been valid. Okay. Oh, damn, I might change it to that. It's been valid. It's no, been valid. No, we That's can't it? do that anymore. Is I, not, not even your name? It's been valid, yeah. Okay. Kevin Valid? Been valid. Kevin Valid. Oh, Kevin Valid. No, Ben Ballard. Ben Ballard. Yeah, it sounds like you your mom's trying to say Dominican. Ben Baller. Yeah, we're not famous. <laughs> hey, oh, enough. Kevin, can you get Ben Ballard? Can you get a big ballot chain over me? Keep it Kevin Sanchez valid, bro. I know, bro. I Pretty know. sure it was Kevin Sanchez ENT a couple weeks ago, but all right. A couple months ago. A couple months ago. A couple months ago. DC, tell me to find you. DC Williams Comedy um, on all platforms. That's TikTok and Instagram. Guys, I love I you guys. Care. I'm telling the AC. So we are hot. baking. <laughs> I am baking this fucking so house you guys right now. Move. This episode is featuring the AC. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, go follow me at uh, Dylan J. Negri. Go follow at Doped Up Comedy on all platforms. Doped Up Comedy on all platforms. Just hit 8,000 on TikTok. Jesus, let's fucking go and on our way to ten thousand on Instagram. On our way to ten thousand on TikTok, guys. It's a climb. It's a journey. I'm really happy for you to be here, a part of it. Um, on our f- way to negative ten thousand in real life. <laughs> <laughs> but we do it for the love. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the love. I ain't gonna do it. Do it. Do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, but guys, also, if you really want to support us and you don't want us to be negative ten thousand dollars in debt, um, it. I, Please go support the Patreon. It's going to be the... I'm going to tell Natalie, make it the first fucking link. If it's not, it's definitely in there. Click the thing below, please. Click it. Go support. It's $5, $7, and then $50 the last tier. But the, the last tier is cocaine. If you And if you can afford cocaine, you can afford to give us 50 bucks a month. <laughs> so, guys, please go support the Patreon. We have the weed tier, the shrooms tier, and the cocaine tier. Um, guys. Oh, bro. Are we back to the episode? Yes. Bro, I saw, I was walking out of my building, and I saw this uh, uh, person just casually doing crack. <laughs> yeah. In, you... my, in my lobby. Oh, my God. Bro, it got me so mad. I, honestly, because she was fat. Right? And I just kept hearing Mike Tyson saying, you don't want to be a fat crackhead. Like, I just kept hearing <laughs> that. And it was pissing me off because it's my mother's building, building. I'm like, yo, what if my mom has to deal with this crackhead right now? Mm-hmm. Damn. And I called the cops on this bitch. No, you did This is the first time I ever called the cops on this. I did call the cops. No, you didn't. I said that. I'll show you right now, bro. This thing I'll show bro. you right now. Why did you, what'd you say what to that? What that says? 911. 12.07 p.m. 12.07, bro. I said snitch. I could not have it. Can't really out here snitch. I snitched. Snitch. I snitched, snitch. bro. Can't really out here snitch. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro. You know what it is? I didn't want this to become a crack den, bro. I didn't want my, yeah. my mom's fucking. Oh, you call the cops on a drug user. Yeah, bro. Get out of here. I guess it's better to call the cops on a drug dealer. Bro, that's even more. Nah, he's trying to feed a family. She's in trying to enjoy her life. Enjoy your life upstairs, bro. What the fuck? Don't do that in my lobby, bitch. I don't want to see you enjoy yourself doing crack, bro. Oh, fuck out of here. Yo, wait, now, if wait, I was a crackhead, you know how excited Kevin. I would have been? Was she, did she look comfortable where she was? Mad comfortable, Is that why bro. you did it? Is that why you called? Why? Because she looked comfy? She, she looked comfy. Bro, she looked too comfy. You right. Did you inhale any of it? Any of the crack smoke? No, bro, but... But she was comfy. Bro, I don't know. She made it her home. She made it... Yo, bro, she was huge. You know what's funny? That's oh, a problem. In New York, when you pay way too much for rent, mm-hmm. it's hard to go downstairs and then see someone homeless. Yes, I want to help the homeless. Yes, I want to help everyone. But also, this I this girl's a not lot homeless. of money for rent. Get the fuck out of my building. This girl's not homeless. The problem, that's the thing about New York. You oh, can really? pay $2 million. This girl's not homeless. She lives in homeless? the building. Oh, uh, but she just... So oh. she, yeah, yeah. Oh. She, so she's just doing. Cr- I was like, yo, you need you know to be out of here. My homie told me about his, uh, his his brother was dating this chick that was a crackhead apparently. Yeah. And she had a job as a nurse. She worked in a hospital, and she would get high and disappear for days, and then come back to work. And, and I didn't know you could function like that on crack. 
I, I, I thought like there was a, there's a, like you were on the streets. There's a famous like uh, NASA guy, the first black uh, NASA employee, also smoked crack. Already bad. Oh, Already what? bad. What? Oh yeah. That's bad <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh, he was honestly. Can you look at the video? In that situation, NASA, bro. Look up NASA employee smokes crack and go to. Work. If you were about to get you shot in the video? space, Ian, you wouldn't no? do crack. Buddy, I got you. I think I seen this video. He died two weeks later. No. Oh wait. Did he? Yep. This yeah. Video. After this video. Yep. Hey, you're right. Actually, I think you're right. Oh, God. Yeah. This guy. And he's. Yo, oh, turn this, this guy the fuck. That's so a rock star life, shit. though. Rock star lifestyle. That's a might rock not star. Make it. Right, yeah. Look at his jacket. Look at his voice. Hear his voice. Bob Williams, crack, crack user. user. Why is crack cracking coke? Quotes. Press pause. That pause. nigga balling. Press pause. Hold that nigga balling. Yo, how NASA much? NASA now, scientist. now I'm gonna be real with you, bro. Is he just wearing the NASA NASA merch, or is he really working for NASA? I tried looking into this. Let's watch this. And he kind of sounds like it. a comedian. This is 12 minutes. He has a comedic vibe to it. Wait, let's just watch this. Yo, Dylan, he don't sound like a comedian. Like he's to doing you? deadpan shit. Like he's doing shit. deadpan yeah, shit. Yeah. Nah, bro. Play I know his. I, yeah. Play it. Yeah, Ian, you look up at this is real while we watch this. Over fifty thousand dollars he spent on crack. Which is about fifty grand now. But you're not out of your mind. Who turned you on to crack, you guy ass? My friend Mike. An old girlfriend of mine. Oh, an old girlfriend of mine. She said, with her. Press pause. Why, yo, bitches? You know what? She, w- she was like, yo, you can't get your dick up? I got something for you. Did she crack get your dick up? That's what I heard. Amphetamines, amphetamines can keep them up. Yeah. I, I could tell you what doesn't keep All your right, dick up and why I thing. don't do Vicodin. Is it anymore. real? Harlem. From Harlem? Is he from Harlem? Harlem? Uh, oh, uh, this is not this is deadpan humor. This is no, he is a crack person. Huh? He just He's an engineer. Oh, uh, he gave it from somebody else. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. That's kind of <laughs> he hilarious. didn't like Bob is short for Robert. <laughs> oh, you think they crack the crackhead gave someone he gave. The name of the NASA guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so funny. Yo, yo, he looked like, like a NASA. Look yo, it bro, up. Because he said he needed to get attention on a big bro. scale. Yo, bro, hom- yo bro, homeless crackheads bro. are the craziest liars. Bro, this He's dude looks. Homeless. This dude looks like Earl Sweatshirt. Bro, he looks like he has. Bro, he looks like he has an. A- did you hear what you just said? Yeah, I did, but he <laughs> looks like he has an apartment. He looks like he has responsibility. He, he looks he responsible. He does, yeah. bro. Like, he, he has a well, job. Well, that's what he gets into. Bro, that's, like, this is bro, the beginning of his crack He had a tech phase. job in the 80s as a black person. Bro, making 35000 He was doing well for, that's about $55,000 a day. year right now, yeah. bro. Yeah. So he was doing well for himself in spent, that time. Well, 55000 ain't shit, bro. No, well, no, he, no, it ain't, but. He spent fifty on crack. Damn, bro. Deplete his whole paycheck on, on crack. $100,000 back in the day. Bro, he looks impeccable right now. He does. He looks. That's what I'm saying. Is this nigga trolling? I've that's never not, spoken to a crackhead that like, looked like that. Me neither, bro. Because I think for nine sp- months he, he said he did supposedly crack. Supposedly he died two weeks later. Or, or, or because he gave Robert died two weeks later. And this nigga's still and alive. This dude's still alive. So he did um, die a few weeks you later. Po- and you pos- did he die from crack? Motherfucker, he didn't die from love. I'm just saying. Did he die? Yeah, did he die from heartbreak? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it'll be crazy if he died from like uh, the diabetes or something. <laughs> like, like, like high what? blood pressure. Yeah. Because <laughs> bad food is like worse than drugs. I don't know. If it, I don't know if bad Whoa. food is worse I than think crack. Bad food is nah, uh, bro. eating I, cheese every day might be worse than I doing cocaine McDonald's, once I a made, month. I, well, I, eating, I, made, I ate McDonald's every 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 year, on, every m- week of my life since I was a kid. I did cocaine for one summer and I felt my body get worse. Yeah, you don't feel your body get worse when you eat McDonald's. 
No, nah, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> you are a crackhead. Honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm wearing a McDonald's t-shirt, bro. Yeah, you got hoodies you're not, and shit. You're, you're not gonna, you're, all right, this is how eating bad is worse. At least when you do drugs, you die quickly. Yeah. Right. When you when you're eating fast food, you're in a, like you're like in the world's purgatory. Like you look uglier now. Mm -hmm. You can't breathe. You can't sleep right no more. Does all Molly give you diabetes food. and hypertension? Huh? Does Molly give you hypertension? It might give you hypertension. Oh. oh. oh yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the next thing you know, you stop doing drugs that, you, that make you have fun, and now you're on lean because you... Yeah, that is true. If you die on cocaine, you, you die quick. It was a good time. And you're in that casket, they're like, yo, this fucking dead body's looking tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this motherfucker fit in, in his high school suit. Prom suit. <laughs> yeah. yo, he's, you know he's wearing his prom suit? Never? This dude's wearing his prom suit, man. Digging his, he digging his pocket, just drugs in it or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was funny. You, you dig in his pocket, you hey, play, you're like, ow! Oh, that, it's a needle. You're like, oh, no. You think if you put... Fentanyl. Coke in a cadaver's nose, it'll pop up or something like that. What is that? Mean? A dead, like a dead body that's like in, no. like in the morgue. No, no. what? No. Mm. It's not, it's no. <laughs> I can't even get sand back. No, you. A cadaver? Uh, David, cadaver, what's another yeah, yeah. topic we got? Cadaver, diver. <laughs> oh, bro, I got a question. Do y'all get mad if, if, you, if, you, if you ever open your computer and you're showing it to someone, if they put their finger on the screen do you get upset it's annoying but i think that's more of a neurosis for you first of all i'm not showing nobody anything on my computer screen like <laughs> it's not happening hey look at this big booty white bitch yeah ah <laughs> uh, yeah, uh. no it's one of those things my problem is i might touch my screen mm -hmm. you don't like when other people touch your screen but no i feel like it's i feel like that's like the way of like of, 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 a, of a computer if you can if you want to touch your own screen go right ahead but other people shouldn't touch your screen. Do you do you hate when people touch your phone screen? Um, I hate when people touch my phone in general. Really? That's weird. Is it? That's weird because they, we were doing the pod the other day and your phone was on its main screen for like forty five minutes. Yeah, I mean, and it I, gave me anxiety. Why isn't his phone closing? Because I want to see what happens. I always want to know the time. But what if someone just? I'm working with minutes here, DC. It, but it, it felt like your phone wasn't even locked. No, it was though. It was on, it was on the home screen. But your battery's dying faster. I don't know why it does that. I think when I got the phone, it's always done that. I think it's an iPhone 14. I don't mm. know why it does that, to be honest with you. You pointed it out, and I've noticed it ever since. Really? <laughs> it yeah. Does, yeah, it does that. Because sometimes it keeps me up, and then I try, and I take out my phone off the charger, and I put it upside down. Mm -hmm, just to not see the light. Yeah. But no. your setting, you could change it in your settings, like the time it goes off. You know, no. for a smart kid, sometimes I'm lazy. <laughs> this was riveting, but what are the topics we have? <laughs> That uh, shit just got real inside baseball. <laughs> about so. just, nothing. I thought yeah. my phone said. Yeah. Both yeah. And how it bothers like both of us. <laughs> All right, David, what else we got? Oh, what is this? And I'm bad like the Barbie. One of the earliest movies featuring Barbie. My oh, bro. Did you know who is it? Harvey Weinstein. Did you know that Harvey Weinstein <laughs> is in the original Barbie movie? What? What? Play what? the clip. What? That is crazy. Really He's not that handsome. <gasps> He's not that cool. Perving out. Oh my god, he immediately goes and picks out some fresh meat. He said she said no girls, this is bad for her. No, this is cause they're going to they're trying to make a competition. I think you guys see the movie. That's pretty much the concept of the end of the movie. Oh my you mean the concept, the concept of concept of his whole production is <laughs> so the, the plot of the original Barbie yeah. movie is who can blow Harvey Weinstein yeah. first? How bad do you want? <laughs> Just what? <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah. Yo, by the way, do you think the Barbie, when like going to like have sex with Harvey Weinstein, she's just like, she's like, are you gonna wrap it in plastic? He's like, nah, it's fantastic. I like how they try to make him look like John Ham. Yeah, you know what, what I mean? Like that yeah. shit was crazy, he bro. Look he looks like closer to John Wick. Yo, let me say what? <laughs> you know how? You yeah. know, yo, bro. What's wild about this is like, you, they made him look like John Ham. There's a girl who probably saw that when it came out, whenever it came out. And the girl's like, wait, who the fuck I got to impress? Harvey Weinstein? All right, let me go to a party Harvey Weinstein at. She sees John Hamm, and they're like, where's Harvey Weinstein? He's like going up to John Hamm, and some guys are going behind him. Yeah. And then this ogre of a man. John Hamm. Bro, he would never this look bit that good in This bitch falling flat on my ears. He would years. never look good in a turtle. Dude, he looks terrible, bro. Yeah, I don't know why they, they made him quit. These are the same people that want to cancel people now. The dude from uh, John Hamm. Mad Men. Does go back to the video. All right, it's okay. Don't worry about it's it. Fine. Um, 
He does look more like John Hamm yeah, with like sunglasses. Bro. Yeah. That's crazy. He had a sexy voice. That he's smooth. He's smooth. That he was none of those things they said. Have you guys? None of those things. Yo, dude, Harvey Weinstein sounds like he breathes heavy. Yeah, Looks he, like he breathes his heavy. His dick is like chopped up or something. Oh yeah, they. they wait, can you look I up? Uh, his dick was. Wait, wait. They look up that. Harvey Weinstein um, court drawings. Uh, penis court. Oh my god. Penis court drawings. Because they described the dick and they showed yeah. a picture of it. Butchered. And so I they, think I so they had to draw it. Like, bro, like this guy really reinvented himself. Wait, they took that. a picture of his dick. And well, then the they girls have to describe. They have to describe like, what his penis looks like. Like they made these girls describe but his it's dick. Evidence, because if they look, in, if they <laughs> look at his dick, hilarious. if it matches what the thing is, then he had a mole to the top left. Nah, bro. These girls have to do yeah, this. Yeah, bro. This is yeah. This is cool. How, How much wanna... these artists get paid? These illustrators. Click one. Dude. Yeah, it's like that one. They need to do a TV series about a guy whose job is to draw shit. In yo, court. why is he built like you can't even of, see his yo, dick? Yo, he built like he yo he's built like one of the Titans from Attack on Titan. His semen didn't look normal. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he probably has, <laughs> he probably has yeah. syphilis or something like Jesus, that. Jesus, bro. This nigga was a monster. It was probably acidic and fucking steaming. <sighs> yeah, I remember I was drinking a lot of Air, um, Arizona iced tea at one point with like a, my third ex like from this point. Mm-hmm. And remember, she got mad at me one night. She like tasted my cum. She was like, yo, you got to drink water, bro. Damn, bro. Like, Your cum tasted like Harvey Weinstein's? <laughs> That's wild. Jewish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, look at his anymore. dick. Wait, cl- click that one where he's drawn on the wall. His dick looks like it's inward. Yeah, I think that's the thing. What? Philly street artist and souls jarring portrait of Harvey Weinstein. Yo, can you believe he lived through this shit? Where he's like, I mean, we didn't. They did. Those did girls. Did. Wait, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to witness this. Yeah. What's the craziest thing that we've lived through in our lifetime? The pandemic. The pandemic. The the pandemic. pandemic. Is the pandemic larger or smaller than the 9/11? 9-11 and, was more... Like t- in the future, like 50 years from now in the history books, what's going to have more pages? Well, here's the thing, and you're going to have to cut this, but 9-11 was real and... 9-11 <laughs> caused war and stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Uh, hey, 9-11 what? was real. <laughs> okay, you can believe this. 9-11 was real. Okay. Beep, COVID was... Beep, uh, beep, yeah. <laughs> COVID was... Uh, Fugazi. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Yo, my dad and my stepmom were in town. And I, I was I was having brunch with them, and I was telling telling them how I'm thinking about maybe going uh, about maybe getting out of New York, like the city. Mm-hmm. And I was like, listen, I know y'all think I'm liberal and shit, <laughs> but there's whispers of COVID happening again. And I leaned yeah, into the table, to... and I know my dad, my dad, my dad from Florida, so mm-hmm. you can make your guesses. And I just leaned in, I go, listen, if it happens again, this shit's not real. Mm-hmm. I, facts, I facts, them facts. Both laugh. And I remember, and that's the first time your dad felt real proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> That was the first time your you know, Israeli Florida for, for dad was, was, was like, oh, my God, I raised a man. <laughs> he, came, he, came, he actually had stood went to the bathroom after that. He came back, and his eyes were red. I was like, did you get high? He's like, no. Nah, nah, bro. Like, I've never been prouder. You nah, that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he really, that never happened. <laughs> nah, this dude's this living in a fantasy world, bro. This, this guy's bad up. funny, bro. Shut up, bro. I need it. I, I, I want to know. That sounds like a Weinstein production. never cried for him, <laughs> Yo, DC, stop laughing into the mic, though, bro, so oh, I can get word. my punchlines off. Big facts. Big facts. <laughs> I'm stepping on my punchlines, bro. <laughs> DC's, DC's the only comic I know that tells jokes like this. He goes, he goes, <laughs> you ever been walking around saying your mom ain't got good pussy? Ha, ha, ha. Like, you do opposite. That's not one of my jokes. <laughs> don't, pre, don't prelude it. You got pre, a prelude joke. <laughs> You're like Star Wars. Oh my God! Um, All right, let's stop looking at Harvey Weinstein's cock. Yeah, yeah, bro. This is on, bro. I'm gonna have nightmares, bro. What's the next topic? We're now on a topic, David. We're now on a list. (laughs) (laughs) Surprises. Oh, I think we did this already. The guy drinking the thing out the glizzy. It's also old. Guys, I'll be real with you. Play. You know, we haven't done this. I don't like this because New York Nico asked this guy to clearly do it because I I deduced this. The hat that the guy. The hat that the guy's wearing is a collab that New York uh, Nico was a part of uh, that he posted weeks before. And he didn't. Yo, that's a fat glizzy, bro. With a hole in it. But, bro, we could have done this. That's yeah. just so stupid. Like, this is fake, but it's good, but it's fake. Yeah, the but be- is the beer going down? The beer's not even going down, not even bro. Going down, is it? It's not working. He didn't get it through and through. Should have used a better, like, thing to push. Y'all want to go to a baseball park and see how many glizzies we can eat? Do a glizzy eating contest? Nah, that shit is disgusting. No, no, no. we should do a glizzy eating contest. Jesus Christ. That's some Brooklyn shit, though. Pizza eating. 
does not have the attraction of facts. Glizzy. Eating a pizza is the, yeah, it's the most heterosexual thing you could do, actually. No buns, just glizzies. No buns, no buns, and just you, glizzies. Allowed, you hear not, this guy? And you're not, and you're not allowed to bite hey, into them. Hey, yo. And you're not allowed to bite into them. Uh, yo. <laughs> so you have to just go. <laughs> no buns, just sausage. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, just no guys. buns, just no all, buds, all huh? sausage in mouth. <laughs> Bro, somebody get rid of this guy, bro. <laughs> Jesus, so you're making me gay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're turning me. <laughs> All right, David, what's the next one? Uh, so this is really gonna be uh, found a baby rapper What? What? Please tell me this is With true. With two of his homies? Oh, nah, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm telling you, black people have a special relationship with animals. Look how he picks him up. <laughs> Yo. Oh, I hate a raccoon. He just got peanut butter in his pocket. That's all. <laughs> he just always got peanuts on him. Yo, he got peanut butter. <laughs> Yo, peanuts. <laughs> he got peanut butter in his pocket. Bro, I was camping one time and a raccoon ate my whole box of trail mix, bro. How mad were you? Peanut butter. I was mad as fuck. First, I was like, Nah, them niggas. Nah, that's just nasty, cool as fuck. Bro. That's awesome. That's cool though that he trained that shit. <laughs> Hell of a switch. The one that's frame so of this dude's crazy, bopping bro. it. That's great. Food store, no specific. Yo, this thing. is that's the kind of <laughs> that's the kind of dude right there. You're like, yo, how did he find that white girl? And you realize he trains raccoons yeah. and shit. <laughs> he brought raccoons so to the club. That's oh, a funny and some girl from TCU was like, oh my god, that's a raccoon. That's funny. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, let me suck the cock. Oh, can I play with your raccoon? Are you gonna are you gonna leave that here? You gonna, that's funny to I'm say. I'm gonna take bro. that. You gotta talk about I'm that. Take that on stage. Cause uh, I be seeing dudes, I be seeing black dudes. Uh, you get this white girl, and you realize he trains raccoons. That's, that's, dude is, that's a bit. <laughs> that's bro. a bit. That's right? a funny bit. Yeah. I'm I'm bu- bu- what's bu- up with this highway though? <laughs> My tell <God>, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the next one, David? <laughs> Okay, you found Wrong links kind of only. Let's go. We might need to give David a mic in these episodes. Yeah, well, the other mic got broken. So we we could lava face. lair him. Oh, uh, what Lil Boosie say, man? Lil Boosie be Lil like Boosie. The wild, Ellis bro. fade, bro. Boosie badass. Boosie badass. Boosie badass. Boosie badass. Boosie badass. Boosie badass. I didn't give you $800, but Tooth Fairy gave you $800. What? Hmm. Tooth Fairy's real. Hey, don't every time you'll see somebody give you $800. No, I got charged $800. <laughs> <laughs> That's still crazy. Hi, great. Pause, 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 pause. Low key. Low key. Hi, great. Little, how funny would it be if Lubusi was like, That's because men get paid more. <laughs> like, you just became political with it. <laughs> like, in the cutest way. Oh, that's true. You only got fifty dollars at your mama house. <laughs> All the two fairies at mama house broke. <laughs> <laughs> broke ass two fairies. That was a start of two fairies. <laughs> yeah. This man yeah. came up with an not on my David. elaborate scheme, bro. Oh no, damn, bro. Wait, wait, explain that. Yeah, so would get he's it. like, uh, he's like, we have a tooth fairy on every floor, right? And so that way, because I have four floors, they add up to eight hundred dollars, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, that's why your mom could only give you fifty dollars. <laughs> Yo, what a what a clever way of saying your mama only got one floor. Yeah, she got around, she got around five hundred square foot house. You know what I mean? Yo, yo, looking at a kid going, you understand square foot? You square, 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 square you understand footage? Square footage? <laughs> I don't know why I made him Southern. <laughs> I mean, so he's I'm, Southern. I'm Southern. He's from New Orleans. Oh, yeah, Boosie by it, I Shout out Boosie. His hairline is undefeated, bro. Undefeated, bro. I can only wish for that. He has the, LeBron and he be like, cancer? Like, how you do it? Oh. Wait, he had cancer? Boosie had cancer? Well, yeah, Young Thug had a entire young... song called for, like, like, free Boosie has cancer or some shit like that. Oh, word? <laughs> Fuck I didn't know how Boosie had cancer like that. Yeah. Damn. Damn, he defeated cancer, bro? Yeah. I gotta get cancer, bro. What? God forbid. What? You de- you beat cancer like everyone looks at you like a god, bro. Like, damn, nah, this nigga bro. survived cancer. Yo, do you know why? It's kind of true. Not right? a lot of motherfuckers mm-hmm. beat cancer. Yeah. Facts, 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 facts. I don't want cancer. <laughs> 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 Yo, how many tickets do you think cancer will sell? <laughs> 
one hundred and ten once. Yo, it <laughs> somebody, got it got somebody a special on HBO. Cancer. Yeah, because yeah, a dude supposedly lied, but I heard he was actually saying the truth that he got cancer, and he ended up survi- he survived it. Right, and, but he went on. Oh, Ellen. he was supposed to say that he he was like, "I'm dying. I'm yeah. doing the special. I'm yeah. dead. I'm yeah. gonna die. That's comedy, though. That is comedy. in real life. He did that in real life. The longest misdirection, bro. <laughs> like, that's wild, bro. Yeah, some him. of y'all motherfuckers don't really want even, your dream to even, come true. <laughs> you weren't even lied about having kids. <laughs> you want it bad enough, nigga? <laughs> y'all want it? I got curable leukemia. Yeah, dog. nigga. <laughs> so Sick of cell anemia, nigga. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so I got my HBO special. <laughs> Still up there. Hey, what you doing? Bar shows, nigga? Uh-huh. Better yeah, get you some cancer, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> sick, sick of cell, dude. I'm fucking dope. My cells are sick. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, that, that made me feel weird. <laughs> 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 we'll oh, man. Next, baby. <laughs> oh man, David, you got another topic? <laughs> what are you go? Are you texting someone? No, I, I, I got a source. Hold on. You got a source. I got sources. Okay. Got sources. Should I end the show? You have this another topic? I think it's a real reporter out here, bro. No. I got a source. Yeah, it, that's why you got stabbed. It's, <laughs> it's just some dude that stares out his window too much in New York. No, no, Them niggas a, know everything. He's bro. some Coney, well, bro. Well, that's what that. That's what the. Isn't that what the like that movie? Um, the dude in the wheelchair looking at the, looking at the window. Bro, them niggas don't even be in wheelchairs. Some niggas just like <laughs> them niggas like smoking and just peeping out the window in New York. Yeah. Yo, I bro. Swear to God. Eric Lewis. Who that? Eric Lewis. What about Eric Lewis? What about the referee? Referee where? Eric. Uh, the Eric, Eric, Eric Lewis, the NBA referee that got caught on Twitter having a burner account defending himself. Uh, nothing wrong, wrong with, that? with that. Nothing wrong with no, that. No, yes, there is. Oh, what, nothing what, wrong what, with what? that. Because that's a Dylan move. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Dylan ass move. I have fake accounts. I want to I all say, the time, but I don't. I didn't say you have fake accounts. They're real to oh, defend yeah, yeah. yourself. <laughs> he, he, re- he retires. They definitely did a thing where they're like, you listen, it's either we fire you or you retire. So. Oh, okay. Retire for that? Like, get. I heard about this like a month ago, right? Good for him, bro. Was he like saying racist things? Like, why do you have to retire no, he, for defending himself? Blair Cutliffe. Can you pull up some of the tweets? Was he saying wild shit? Like, fuck out of here. That's why your girl got an abortion. She didn't want nobody looking like you, acting oh like you, talking God. like you. Damn. What if, if Walking like you. Walking like you, loser out here. Barking like you because you look like a dog. Tweeting like a, tweeting mm. at a ref, oh, that's pussy. Crazy. This mm-hmm. is crazy. Was he talking like Open that? Image, a new tab and then zoom in. Damn. Zoom. Damn, this nigga. So, so you, you watch, watch every referee? referee, just like that. They're not talking about also, the. This in his uh, uh, wife made, made a burner account named after. Uh, I was like, who? Cutliff? Blair Cutliff? Okay, this shit ain't true. Stop spreading lies. Lie. I mean, don't get see the fuck okay. out of here. Heat versus refs. Mm. Don't think, and it's all by the way. He's all responding to him. Uh, sorry, go to, go to go to the um, Google search again. Show one that like shows like the inter- the That's exchange. Right. Like the top left one, top left. Top I want to see a real exchange. Top yeah. left, David. That's a right. That, that was your right. That one right there. Open it. No, no, no. make it. Uh, open a new tab so you yeah, see the picture. Are you dyslexic? The left is there. No, yeah. No, you. I, I said left. He. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that was good. No, not, don't look at me like crazy. <laughs> also, can you zoom in? LeBron James is now 0 and 82 in his career games, officially by Eric Lewis. Insane. LeBron James has never won a game when Eric Lewis is the referee. And then Blair goes, aka Eric Lewis goes, um, Memphis game one. Yo, the only thing that I he literally goes, I allowed him once. You know what's interesting is that he's like kind of sus on these comments. Yes. Like, like he's a little sus. Like, like, like the NBA was like tired of saying pause every time they read something he said. Right? And and he was like, no, nah, no, nah, we got to get this guy out of here. These guys are too sus, bro. Wait, so and this is a... Yeah, do that one. No, do the one so, on the second left. The second left. So Eric Lewis is the is yeah, the ref. He's the ref, yeah. yeah. Miami Heat ref? No, 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 no. Miami, no. Just a ref. He's just a ref of the NBA. NBA ref, okay. NBA okay. Pull, pull up something he said. Hold on. Zoom in. Enough said. Oh, because he's, like um, he's like a Boston fan. Uh, so like, oh, like come on. Then he and hates look, LeBron yo, for look, sure. Get the fuck out of here. Stop placing blame and hold your team accountable. You act like the dubs are uh, are Bama. Oh, you act like the dubs like are Bama. Alabama? Yeah, like the football team? Yeah, the Golden State Warriors are like Alabama. Yeah, you say the Golden State Warriors are like Alabama. Mm, okay. But he if you if he was a Celtics ref, he hates LeBron. Because I remember He does hate LeBron. Yeah. He's 0 and 82 again. Like they used to, oh, he's an actual Celtics. Oh, that's his family? Yes. Yeah, he's a Celtics oh. fan. Oh, 
that's and interesting. they used to flagrantly foul By LeBron. Way, that's her. That's that's his wife's real account, Van, Van, uh, Vanessa Blair Lewis. He's an idiot, bro. Old people are stupid, bro. Yo, he could have used any name in the world, though, bro. He really has an opinion, doesn't he? To do and all he that, wants, he tweets all day, every day. About what? During but here's the thing: I, I still can't understand why he can't defend himself. Nah, like, this he's nigga's not saying anything. He's crazy. about to have a podcast, bro. He is. He is. He is. He's yeah. about to have a podcast because he's gonna have as a ref. Everyone's gonna listen to what Imagine a ref him. has to say, bro. Yo, yo, if he should start the podcast with like LeBron no, on that's steroids, the thing. no one listens to what refs have right. to say. Right? No, no. But like, yeah, imagine, story story. imagine all the fans be like, "Yo, that one time at that game, that was a bullshit call and him all and that." Tim, he's got, him and Tim Donahue do a, yeah. a podcast together. Him and Tim Duncan. He said, "If you're gonna tweet much this much, I've never heard from a ref he's publicly." Tim Donahue. Tim Donahue. But to tweet like this, you're, something's yeah. going to happen. Tim Donahue is the one that got yeah, um, that, sports betting. That was sports betting got um, kicked out. That would be crazy. That would, that would be, be a cool podcast. podcast. I think he might know what he's doing wait, a little wait, bit. Do you, you guys hear that? Oh, that's that's the end music. That's, oh, is that? That's, are that's we ending? Jay Z music. Yes, the guys. Some people. Some, some people, people hate. Oh, you know? damn. Okay. So, guys, it was an amazing episode. I think we should wrap it up. I think we, we're, we're, we're hitting a high. And I think that's, uh, you know, always lean on wanting more is what we say here at Dope Up Comedy. Guys, yeah, we say that that's what I tell time, my girl right? when she don't come. I'm like, yo, you know, gotta leave them wanting want more. more man. Maybe you want more, you know? Come back for the Come back for, for, the, come back for the nut later. Mm-hmm. Come back mm-hmm. for the nut. Mm-hmm. Vlogs every Wednesday. Fight journals also coming out. Hell yeah. And then, guys, all the bonus content on the Patreon. Go support the Patreon. Subscribe. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram. Follow Dylan, Kevin, DC, Ian, David, Natalie, the Chico. We are Doped Up Comedy, and we will see you next week. Bye. Peace. Oh.